Incapsaret Member of Parliament Oscar Suri will remain in police custody for seven more days to allow the prosecution to conclude investigations. The decision by court has, however, not been received well among political leaders allied to the vocal legislator who have vowed to challenge the decision by appealing at the High Court. Ruth Sarmoy tells us more. The decision by Nakuru Chief Magistrate Joseph Atkalo to detain Sudi for seven more days came as a shock to his counterparts and sympathizers who were hoping for his release on bail. <laughs> Sudi's lawyers have vowed to escalate the matter at the High Court. We wish to confirm that we shall be moving immediately to the High Court for review. Not necessarily for Honorable Sudi's case but most importantly for posterity and to set the law right in this country. Because today it may be Honorable Sudi, tomorrow it could be any of you, including you members of the press. So it's important that we set this clearly. Meanwhile, the MP's request to continue seeking medical attention has been granted. 14th of September, you gave an order that uh, the suspects respondent hearing be taken to a hospital. The owner, he was then admitted and has not been discharged officially from hospital. He was only given a temporary discharge to attend this, uh, uh, this event, this session, this court session today. Your Honor, in those circumstances, we are praying for an extension of that order. By Friday, 25th of September, the prosecution is expected to have completed the investigation so that Sudi's case can officially begin. The police are expected to carry out forensic investigations on the ownership of the gun that was confiscated from Sudi's vehicle. They are also expected to record statements from witnesses. Sudi surrendered himself to the Langas police station on Sunday before he was later transferred to Nakuru Central Police Station. The police, through the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC, had preferred five charges against the legislator. The charges include hate speech, resisting arrest, assaulting a police officer, being in possession of an illegal firearm, and offensive conduct. Ruth Sarmui, NTV.